In a small town in Yorkshire, England, a troubled couple resides, managing their own chicken farm. Mrs. Tweedy, the grumpy mastermind, and Mr. Tweedy, the simple-minded laborer, oversee the daily operations. However, this farm is no ordinary place. It resembles a strict World War II prisoner camp, where every chicken is expected to lay a specific number of eggs each day. If they fall short or fail entirely, Mrs. Tweedy unleashes her wrath upon them. Amidst this oppressive environment, Ginger stands out as a courageous and rebellious hen. She has been subjected to punishment on numerous occasions, not for her egg production, but for her repeated attempts to escape. Accompanied by two cunning rats named Nick and Fetcher, Ginger has made various escape efforts, using tools they manage to sneak in. Yet, time and time again, Mr. Tweedy and his dogs foil her plans, condemning her to solitary confinement in a coal bin. While most of the chickens on the farm find solace in their comfortable lives and abundant food, Ginger yearns for something more. She refuses to accept a fate confined within the farm's walls, where she is merely a producer of eggs. Driven by her belief that life holds greater possibilities, Ginger persistently seeks freedom, seeking to break free from her coop. On another day of escape attempts, Ginger is once again captured by Mr. Tweedy and his vigilant dogs. She endures a period of solitary confinement, but the following day, she is released just in time for roll call. During the attendance check, Mrs. Tweedy discovers that a chicken named Edwina failed to produce any eggs that week. Without mercy, Edwina is swiftly beheaded and destined for the dinner table. Witnessing this horrifying punishment intensifies Ginger's desperation to escape the farm. Determined to break free, Ginger seeks assistance from her trusted allies, Nick and Fetcher, in acquiring more tools. However, she encounters a problem when the rats refuse to accept chicken feed as payment and insist on receiving eggs instead. Faced with this predicament, Ginger must find an alternative solution to secure her means of escape. Meanwhile, Mrs. Tweedy realizes that the farm is struggling, prompting her to explore unconventional methods to increase profit. She stumbles upon a chicken farming magazine titled Tired of Making Minuscule Profits, which inspires her. She hatches a sinister plan to abandon egg production entirely and embark on a new venture, turning all the chickens into savory chicken pies. To execute her plan, she sets her sights on acquiring a pie-making machine. While Mr. Tweedy recognizes the chicken's escape attempts and warns his wife, Mrs. Tweedy dismisses his concerns, convinced that the birds are far too foolish to outsmart her. Ginger, on the other hand, senses impending doom and becomes increasingly worried about her friend Babs, who has been unable to lay eggs. Determined to save her fellow chickens, Ginger rallies the others, urging them to accelerate their efforts to escape. Yet, she soon realizes that the only viable path to freedom lies beyond the fence, a daunting obstacle that none of the coop's inhabitants know how to overcome. Under the moonlit sky, Ginger sits outside the confines of the coop, pondering ways to conquer the daunting fence. In a twist of fate, a majestic Rhode Island red cockerel named Rocky soars over the fence, accidentally colliding with the chicken coop. The astonished chickens, including Ginger, gaze at Rocky in sheer amazement. Soon, Ginger discovers a torn half of a poster that reveals Rocky's true identity as a flying chicken from a circus. Intrigued by this revelation, she learns that Rocky yearns for freedom and has no desire to return to his captive life. In a bid to protect him from his owners, Ginger strikes a deal. She will provide shelter and aid him in evading capture if he teaches them the art of flight. Reluctantly, Rocky agrees, albeit explaining that he cannot immediately demonstrate due to an injury sustained during the collision. Instead, Rocky leads Ginger and the other chickens through a series of seemingly purposeless exercises, assuring them that progress is being made. Meanwhile, a colossal truck arrives at the farm, delivering boxes containing the components of a pie-making machine to the Tweedies. The following day, Mrs. Tweedy issues a decree to double the food rations. Rather than celebrating the abundance of food, Ginger enlightens her fellow chickens about the sinister motive behind the increased portions to fatten them up for slaughter. This revelation is further substantiated by Mrs. Tweedy's lack of concern regarding Bab's inability to lay eggs. Despondency sweeps over the flock. Rocky scolds Ginger for dampening their spirits with her unwelcome honesty, but Ginger staunchly defends her decision to share the truth, refusing to deceive her fellow chickens. In an effort to uplift their desolate spirits, Rocky devises a plan to throw a joyous party. With the assistance of Nick and Fetcher, who procure a radio, the chickens sway and dance, momentarily forgetting their woes. Amidst the joyous revelry, the chickens notice that Rocky's wing has miraculously healed, instilling hope that their dream of flight will soon become a reality. Naturally, Ginger insists that Rocky must demonstrate his flying abilities the following day. The American bird agrees to showcase his skills. Unfortunately, as the chickens anticipate their flight lesson, the Tweedies complete the installation of their menacing pie-making contraption. Seizing an opportunity to test their creation, they select Ginger as their unwitting subject. 
However, Rocky bravely follows Ginger into the machine, enduring a grueling process, and ultimately saves her by damaging the contraption. The destruction of the pie machine not only hampers the Tweety's pie production, but also grants the chickens additional time to refine their escape plan. Rocky's heroic act earns the respect of Fowler, an elder cockerel who initially harbored doubts about Rocky's intentions. As a token of admiration, Fowler presents Rocky with his own Royal Air Force badge. Yet, the next day, Rocky departs from the farm, leaving behind his medal and the second half of his torn poster, which reveals that he was a daredevil stunt cockerel propelled through the air by a cannon. Disappointment fills the hearts of the chickens, leading to a brief conflict. However, Ginger remains resolute, seeking another avenue for their escape. In a serendipitous moment, Fowler regains control of the coop and recounts his days in the RAF. From his recollections, Ginger conceives a bold idea, they can construct an aircraft to soar them to freedom. With Fowler's guidance, using his pictures and memories, they commence the arduous task of building an airplane. They name their creation the Old Crate, a humble homage to their coop. Assisted by Nick and Fetcher, who provide the necessary tools, the determined birds toil ceaselessly. They diligently work throughout the day, concealing their progress from the Tweeties, who remain preoccupied with repairing their pie machine. Finally, the chickens complete their aircraft. Just as they prepare for their inaugural flight, Mr. Tweety intrudes into the coop, attempting to capture them. Unfazed, the courageous chickens launch an open revolt, overpowering Mr. Tweety by restraining and silencing him. Filled with a sense of accomplishment, the chickens return to their plane, ready to embark on their flight to freedom. However, Mr. Tweety manages to free himself and topples the ramp the chickens use to launch the plane. Thinking quickly, Ginger jumps down to retrieve the ramp while Fowler turns the plane around, inadvertently knocking Mr. Tweety unconscious. As Ginger struggles to lift the ramp, Mrs. Tweety menacingly appears, wielding her hatchet and intent on ending Ginger's life. In a surprising turn of events, Rocky, plagued by guilt for abandoning his newfound friends, returns to the farm. Along his journey, he had encountered a billboard advertising Mrs. Tweety's chicken pies, stirring a sense of responsibility within him. Just in the nick of time, Rocky leaps over the fence with his trusty tricycle, delivering a powerful blow to Mrs. Tweety's face, rendering her unconscious. Ginger seizes the opportunity to hoist herself and Rocky into the plane, using a Christmas light snagged on the landing gear as a lifeline. However, their escape is met with resistance as Mrs. Tweety awakens, seething with fury and grabs onto the light. Her weight causes the plane to dip perilously downward, prompting Ginger to swiftly sever the rope with a pair of scissors. In a daring move, Mrs. Tweety plummets towards the ground, but as she falls, she loses her grip on the scissors. Recognizing this as their only chance for freedom, Ginger cunningly entices Mrs. Tweety to use the hatchet she clutches to cut the rope. The plan succeeds, and Mrs. Tweety hurtles downward, crashing into the pie machine and inadvertently triggering the safety valve. The escalating pressure within the contraption leads to a spectacular explosion, obliterating the barn and dousing it in a tidal wave of gravy. Amidst the chaos, the chickens rejoice, witnessing the destruction of their former prison. They take to the skies, flying towards their newfound freedom. In a moment of revelation, Mr. Tweety turns to his wife, remarking, I told you they were organized. Enraged, Mrs. Tweety lunges at him, but before she can strike, Mr. Tweety swiftly shuts the barn door on her, leaving her trapped inside. He departs, leaving his wife to face the consequences. The birds soar onward, finding sanctuary on a peaceful island where they can raise their chicks without fear. Rocky and Ginger's relationship blossoms into love as they become a devoted couple, nurturing their own brood of chicks. Meanwhile, Nick and Fetcher, the resourceful rats, discuss their plans to establish their own chicken farm, driven by their insatiable desire for eggs. However, their discussion quickly devolves into a lighthearted debate about the age-old question of whether it's the chicken or the eggs that come first. As the movie concludes, the characters' journeys find resolution, and a sense of hope and contentment fills the air. The moral of the story is never underestimate the power of chickens, because when they work together and build an airplane, anything is possible.